Hey everyone, welcome back to Lotus Forming channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of roll forming. From the initial design to the final product, we'll walk you through each step of creating a custom metal profile. We're going to cover profile design, CAD drawings, the machine layout, and the roll design for each station. Whether you're a designer, engineer, or just curious about how things are made, this video has something for you. Let's get started. The first step in creating a roll formed profile is designing the profile itself. We start with some initial sketches, which can be done by hand or using 2D design software. This gives us a basic idea of the shape and dimensions of the profile. Here, you can see the 2D design of our profile. We carefully define the height, width, and any key features, ensuring everything is dimensioned correctly. Next, we bring this 2D design to life by creating a 3D model. This step is crucial because it allows us to visualize the profile from all angles, check for any potential issues, and make necessary adjustments before we move on to manufacturing. Now, let's take a look at the overall machine layout. The roll forming line starts with the material feeding device, where raw metal is fed into the machine. The decoiler must be designed to accommodate the size and weight of the metal coils. This includes the diameter and width of the coil, as well as its weight. The coil stand should be sturdy enough to handle these specifications. The decoiler should have features to facilitate easy loading and unloading of coils. This might include hydraulic systems or motorized mechanisms for adjusting coil position and alignment. The leveling unit includes multiple sets of rollers, typically arranged in a series of alternating bends. The design of these rolls must ensure that the metal strip is evenly flattened. The design of the punching unit includes various dies and punches tailored to the specific features required. The tool design must be precise to ensure accurate and consistent punching. The unit must have mechanisms to align the strip correctly with the punching tools. This can include guide rails and adjustable stops to ensure that punches are applied at the exact required locations. The design should include a programmable control system to adjust punching parameters such as timing, depth, and positioning. This allows for versatility in the types of features that can be punched. Roll stations, each station must be designed with rollers that have specific contours to shape the metal strip progressively. The design involves calculating the precise geometry of each roller to achieve the desired profile. Rollers are typically made from high-strength steel or carbide materials to withstand the wear and tear of the forming process. The design must ensure that the material used can handle the stresses without deforming or wearing out too quickly. Roll stations should include mechanisms for adjusting the position and angle of the rollers. This allows for fine-tuning of the profile shape and is crucial for accommodating different designs. Roll forming is a process where a metal profile is shaped progressively as it passes through multiple stations. Each station includes a pair of rollers that gradually bend and shape the material. The metal strip is fed into the first station where it undergoes initial bending. At this point, the profile starts to take shape, but it's far from the final form. The profile moves to the next station, where additional bends and features are introduced. This might include more complex angles or the formation of specific features like grooves or ribs. Each subsequent station continues to refine the profile, adding more precise details and ensuring the material conforms to the desired shape. By the last station, the profile is fully formed, 
with all bends, curves, and features correctly shaped. Using the 2D design as a base, a 3D model of the profile is created in software like SolidWorks, AutoCAD, or Cudia. This 3D model provides a complete visualization of the profile from all angles. The 3D model is crucial for ensuring that the design meets all functional and aesthetic requirements. It also serves as the foundation for creating manufacturing drawings and for running simulations. Before we start the actual production, we can use simulation software to ensure everything works as expected. The simulation shows how the profile moves through the roll forming stations, how the rolls interact with the material, and whether any adjustments are needed. Using simulation software, you can visualize the movement of the profile through the roll forming stations. The simulation will show how the profile changes shape as it passes through each station, allowing engineers to identify any potential issues with the design or the roll forming process. The simulation also allows you to study the interaction between the rolls and the profile. This includes analyzing the forces applied to the material, the bending process, and the material's response to these forces. It helps ensure that the material is not overstressed and that the final profile meets the required specifications. These detailed steps and components are essential for designing, manufacturing, and simulating a roll forming process, ensuring that the final product is manufactured accurately and efficiently. And that's how a roll formed profile goes from a simple design to a fully formed product. I hope this video gave you a clear understanding of the entire process. If you have any questions or if there's anything specific you'd like to see in future videos, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.